an alley catalytic converter. Never seen anything tarnation like this. Ugh. Tarnation. Crumbing out it. Damn, leaking oil pan. I'm done with this tonight. Can't you see I got stuff all on my face, whole mouth full of oil? And man, get cleaned up for a little bit. Hold your horse, so get your fiddles here in the sack. Yeah. Transmission on the poop. I'm done with this, Francine. I like soup. Francine! I wish you'd take gone and done that. It's gonna be a long time till breakfast. I'm done with you. Close up chopper knife and I am turning it, Francine. I'm turning it. Allison's into pirates, aren't you, baby? Stop it, you're evil. <laughs> now, a Reddick City News Alert. Look the amount of conditioning. Dusty hey, could you turn that back? Yet. I was listening to it. Dusty, oh, Dusty settle down, Matt. I was just seeing what else was on. That show was born anyways. Was I talking to you? Don't pay no attention to him, Shug. Matt just woke up on the wrong side of the cage this morning. Change it. Local authorities are at a loss to explain the loud explosion this morning. Viewers are calling in to report that smoke is rolling into their neighborhoods. The local fire department is asking citizens who have information about I bet somebody still caught on fire. To call in with that information. <laughs> the number is area code 417. Be cool, daddy -o. Righteous, I'll see you next Thursday. Wicked cool, bro, man.
fucking spook. <laughs> Can I get you some coffee, sir? Yes, please. Oh, man. I am getting too old for this shit. I gotta go hit the hay. Oh, man, you gotta go in today, huh? What? Yeah, I've got a job. You guys, you guys are lucky. You wanna go lay down for a little while, honey? Yeah. No, I gotta go to work. I gotta get out of here, guys. I got a splitsville. We'll see ya. Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. some of this, yeah, some yeah, action yeah, there, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. okay, I'll yeah, see you guys. Yeah, be careful. I've had a little bit too much coffee. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Well, oh, thanks for the announcement. Are you ready to order, Shug? Don't worry, Shug. Ezekiel's a bit of an oddball. What do they say? Inocentric. Mac? Does Zeke usually bring his rifle when he comes in here? Morning, Zeke. Jeremy Sands on location in Hickston County with a new report of mysterious activity where only last week local residents reported flying discs not too far from where I'm standing. And even more mysterious, sightings of an elusive creature. Hickston County legends of the hairy half-man, half-ape, who Native Americans have long referred to as Sasquatch or Bigfoot, have been well established in the county. But why the recent rash of new reports? Bigfoot? Flying saucers? What supernatural force will be the next to unleash itself on local Hickson County residents? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. For now, this is Jeremy Sands with New Center 26. Code 9 distress coming from an agent in a rural sector. Agent X. Good Christ. Well, you know what to do. Get Agent Y and Z out there immediately. Now!
Girl, what? Look at this white motherfucker. That what he want? He Billy ass motherfucker right there. Yeah. You see him? What the fuck he looking at? Hell no. Probably should roll up your windows. I think so. Hey, honey. We had a little trouble up the road, but we'll soon get you on your way. Excuse me. How long is this going to take? Listen here, babe. Fog rolled in up that road this morning, caused an accident. As soon as we get that truck out of the way, we'll get you on your way. You all have yourselves a real nice day now, you hear? Thank you. Excuse me, you know how long this is going to take? It's going to take as long as it's going to take. You see that car right there? When it goes, you go. Got any more questions? Yeah, what happened? Fucking hippies. Excuse me, how long is this going to take? Shit. As if this day isn't going to be bad enough already. Son of a bitch. Where's the hat that came with that uniform? And that hat me a headache. <sighs> Fucking hippie. I hate these damn greenhorns. Sheriff, we just got a call. There's been a multiple homicide down at the diner on Route 72. That's impossible. You know, this is some fucking distraction maneuver. Goddamn crooks. They're always up to something. I'm leaving you in charge here. Don't you let me down. You got it? You got it, Sheriff. Alrighty. Come on, dipshit. <sighs> fucking dick. I'll be right back after I get to the bottom of this crap. Hey, Hank, do you think it's... Shut the fuck up. Man, you're just a damn greenhorn. You don't know shit. You know, this time I don't think I know shit either. You know, I pray this doesn't get as nasty as I think it's gonna get. You know if it does? All that hippie peace and love crap ain't gonna mean shit. Dude, how many times have I told you I'm not a fucking hippie? hippie. Yeah, well, whatever the fuck you say. You got long hair, okay? Just stay out of my way when the shit gets down. You got it? Aye, aye, Captain. Katie. Hello, Sheriff. Get hold of that some bitch burns yet? No, sir. Well, keep on a trying, darling. I'm almost to the diners anyways. Oh, and yeah, can you say a little prayer for me? I got a feeling we's gonna need all the help we can get. <sighs> oh shit, 20 minutes late? 20 miles per hour over the speed limit, that's about right. Should be there just on time. Just, just, here, sit down. 
gonna be okay, so you just hang in there, alright? Hang in there! All right, just hang in there, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be fine. You stupid son of a bitch! Hey, man, if come I on, this girl's been shot. Somewhere else about right now. Hey, oh. hey. Oh. hey, where you going? Son, listen, my God, I know it's bad. Ah, son of a bitch! Darling, what's wrong, sugar? It's me, Hank, your old part. Son of a bitch! Thank <laughs> you. 
Tiny little bastard, you killed Allison! She was already dead. You look okay. Let him go, please. We gotta get to the hospital. Stop this madness. You're gonna be okay, Sheriff. She all right? I think she's gonna be okay. Dude, you don't hear that?
God damn, there ain't nothing worth watching on this boot tube anymore. Get the best of the John Show today. Where's all this crap? I'm gonna write me a letter. Eunice, what are you doing in there? Damn, I'll find us something to watch if it takes us half the night. Damn it, you're just a bunny damn squirrels are kicking around up in the attic again. Well, Harold, if them squirrels is such a pain, then get off your lazy ass and do something about it. I gotta get me a better rodent station. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take the girl in here. You'll be safe. Troy can show you how to use the radio. I've got to get the sheriff some help real fast. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? Everything's gonna be fine. You and your pink little curls are gonna be just fine, all right? Fucking phone out. There's gotta be a first aid kit around here somewhere. Don't move. Now listen. I'm gonna put the gun down, and everything is going to be okay. Ready? One, two, three. Are you okay, kid? What's your name, kid? Troy. That's great. And yours? Bob. Okay, Troy, Bob, you guys okay? You guys doing all right? How about you, young lady? You okay? Hey, hey, now, I'm not real sure about... Anything at all? I understand. <laughs> it's all right, kid. I'm here to help. Oh, yeah? Well, just who? Am I? I work for the feds. One of our agents sent out a distress. Now, if you gentlemen could please kindly catch me up on what has happened so far, I would be much obliged. Man, check this out. It's my first day on the job. Me and Sheriff Williams were doing a routine traffic stop. There's this fog, this fucking asshole comes out of nowhere, fucking hits this dude, fucking throws a midget, and check this out. Traffic jam, all these people just backed up, there's fog everywhere. Zeke went crazy at the diner, I don't know what happened. Sheriff Williams got bitten in the neck, and then all of a sudden this fucking asshole pulls up in his car, he's all screaming about his fucking girlfriend. It's my first day on the job. It sounds like it's been quite a morning for the both of you. Now, I wish I could lend you both some encouragement and please know that I want to see the end of this as soon as both of you do. Now, if you'll please excuse me, gentlemen, I have to make another attempt to contact the authorities.
Come on, we're done. Hurry up! Come on, we gotta go. Get Fuck up, it, up, man. Go, go, go! Shit. Bust it! There you go. Yeah. Shit. What the F? What a bunch of punks. Those little bastards. Wait, wait, look. She looks kind of sad. With some icing on top. Roll that window down. It's hot out there. Hey, girl. Hey. You need a ride? Hey, man. Hey, hey we got some booze. We got some spray paint. Let's go have some fun. We're nice guys. Yeah, we're cool. We're not going to kidnap you or nothing. Get in the car, stuck up. <laughs> What's your name? Can't tell you. Can't tell your name? I like your hair. I like this little jacket you got going on here. Yeah. What's going what? on? You want to you want to go to this little spot we got down here? Uh, I don't know. No. Not nude photographs. No, no, nothing like that. Yeah, no. real classy stuff, you know. Why do you want to take my picture? Because well, you're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah. Look at you. Fuck, dude. Look at this <laughs> oh, drunk ass like, motherfucker, dude. <laughs> fucking drunk mother. Sleeping. Up. Holy oh. shit. Dude, he looks all bloody. Oh man. my god, dude. He's fucked up. Man. <laughs> Fuck him. We should beat the shit out of him. <laughs> See, he's got a wallet. He's got fucking nice boots on though. I think he's breathing, man. Dude, I think hey, are you alright, man? You alright, buddy? I'm getting to be a little fucking sick of all these goddamn zombies. I'm really sick of it. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Come back. Hello? It, it's Sharon from the county morgue. Anyone? Sharon, is that you? Sharon? Can you hear me? This is Troy at the sheriff's office. Oh, oh yes, Troy. Uh, I am so glad to hear your voice. I'm so frightened. Troy, I I've got to tell you something. I, there's been an accident and it was self-defense. I, I swear I didn't mean to. Ma'am, stay right where you are. We'll be right there, Sharon. Please, please hurry. We have to go help her. We're not moving from this place. Look, we have to go to the morgue. The place serves as a warehouse with food supplies for emergencies like fires, floods. Wait, a food warehouse at the morgue? That's gross. It's only six blocks away. The location also serves as an armory. Forget that. What if we run into more of those things? Blast them. Don't even hesitate. Just aim straight for their head or they won't die. All right. If we're gonna do this, we need all the firepower we can get. So let's case this joint for all the ammunition, all the guns, every weapon you can find, and let's get out there and let's do this. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, so I think we uh, got all the guns we can find in this place. So now before we go out there, does anybody feel like telling me what we're up against? My organization has seen incidents like this in the past. What exactly causes the events, nobody knows. But they start out as random killings, bloodshed, victims screaming, homicides going on. You see, and, and the victims become, well, Reanimated, blood crazed, villainous people, okay? Recently dead, now seeking others, uh, other victims, uh, uh, killers, but not, not alive, okay? At least not like you and me. This is ridiculous. Are you insane? <laughs> Don't you understand? They are dead, all of them, undead. They're the living dead. Un they're the living undead. Uh, I knew I should have stayed in truck driver school. Uh, it's the end of the world. You guys are insane. <laughs> yeah, it is insane. But, you know what? We have to deal with it. I'm sorry. Now let's go, gentlemen. Let's get it done. Let's roll. Hang in there, Sheriff. We're gonna get you to the hospital. You're gonna be okay. Sheriff! Sheriff! Ah! 
Derek, can we stop at that TK Pizza Parlor? I'm hungry for some Italian. We break on the hour, Hector. I'd say that's just about enough out of you. Look, we're gonna switch drivers in a few minutes in Reddick City. I swear, if you pull any funny stuff, I'll make you regret it. You hear me, Lamb? Now, Derek, there's no need to get snitty about it. You Brian? Brian Higgins? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek, would you crack a window? It's stifling in here. Suffer. Okay, kid, this is where I jump off. Don't worry about Hector, he won't cause you any trouble. But if he tries to lure you into some idle conversation, just don't do it. Hector's a wolf in lamb's clothing. <laughs> Get it? Lamb's clothing? Sheep? Very clever, Derek. Not bad for a lout with a fifth grade education. Brian, can you imagine being cooped up in a car for 10 hours with the likes of him? If you have any problems, just hit this button here. You'll have immediate contact with Transcon Emergency Services. Okay, I'm out of here. Behave yourself, Hector. All right, Brian, be careful. Girl, are you okay? Gentlemen, get your guns ready. What? They're just kids! Let's abort these little bastards. Hey, you guys want to make sure you shoot him in the head next time? You guys are sick. Hulk versus Thor? Thor, no contest. But Hulk is strong. God of freaking thunder, man. Think. <laughs> Okay, man, listen up. We're taking on something here that is unlike any job we've ever done. If you see one of those things, shoot it in the head. I repeat, shoot it in the head. We've outfitted you with special helmets and face shields to prevent any blood from getting into your eyes, nose, or mouth. And whatever you do, do not engage these creatures close up. Take them out from as far away as you can. And if one of these things so much as scratches you, well, God help us all. Team Alpha, engage. Team Delta, engage.
Hey, miss. Miss, don't go that way. Hey! So, what'd you do before you were incarcerated, Mr. Lamb? I was a nuclear scientist, Brian. Used to work in a, not far from here, a place called Riddick City. I loathe the place. You can imagine I'm more of an urbanite, a dazzling metropolis. Now that's where I shine. You ever been to the ballet, Brian? So my friend David says you cannibals, what, eating people? It's like some weird sex thing gone wrong. Is that true? So what do you guys do? Just like uh, fucking cut people up and eat their intestines and fuck their organs and shit like that? Gouge out their eye sockets, fuck their skull? The people are sick. Sick fucks. You know where you're going, they're gonna eat you. Well, your asshole anyway. God, you're so fucking weird. You know, if I... Uh... like a my kind of day, my kind of meal.
Miss, what is your name? Morgan. You okay? Good. Stay close to the group, all right? Okay, here. I'll take this one. Oh, 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 what is this shit? Oh, I got shit all over me. What? Shit. How many bodies? What? How many bodies in the morgue? How many? Oh, um, eight, nine, nine. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Calm down. That should be the last of them. What about that one? The brain's been removed. He can't harm us. Sharon, are you okay? That's a fucking stupid question. Shut up. Oh, brother, can somebody please tell me where the armory is? Hold on a minute. I don't want anyone leaving this room. Bullshit! Bullshit! You okay? All hell's broken loose, Sharon. Well, what we do know is that the dead are coming back to life and attacking the living. It's not just the dead. What? One of our workers came in here this morning when we had all just arrived, getting ready to start the day. He seemed so decisive, but he didn't say a word. He walked up to the front desk where we were all standing, pulled out a knife and started slashing calmly deliberately. I stood there. We all just stood there in shock. And then I knew I had to run. It, it was like a nightmare where you try to run but you just stay in one place. I ran here to the lab and locked myself in. I heard shots ring out for what seemed like hours. And then silence. A silence that seemed louder than the gunshots. And I sat here, terrified, and I waited. All I could remember were his eyes. They were cold and dead. Oh, I have something to show you. Before I came to work here, I served as a pathologist for the Sentinel Group. They handle government contracts, and we were brought in to examine the victims of an accidental breach in the power plant that borders on Pulaski County. The media was never contacted, and the families were paid off to remain silent and keep everything a secret. There was a bubble in the reactor, and, and when it ruptured, the people in the plant were dead within minutes. The authorities decided to wait until the radiation threat went down. And when the recovery team did go in to recover the bodies, they were doomed too. The reanimated plant workers attacked them, killed them, ate them. When we finally did do the autopsies on the plant workers, we found that the radiation had killed them. But they had tried to use a chemical, a, a new experimental one, to counteract the effects of the radiation. It had never been used in a practical environment. And when they flooded the plant with this chemical, and it reached the bodies of the downed workers, their nervous systems, uh, in effect, were jump-started. And they were alive again, but not as themselves. Alive, but as creatures, horrible creatures lusting for blood, and the others, the recovery team members that hadn't been killed, they were affected too. The radiation was gone, but the chemical was still there. It made them crazy. 
crazy with homicidal tendencies. And when they came out of the facility, they attacked the ground crew. It was nothing but pure chaos and, and terror. It works on this part of the brain right here where the subconscious is. God damn it. I get it. Darling, may I call you darling? You know, when I came in here, I was completely overtaken by your bright eyes, your lustrous raven hair, and your curvaceous figure. Now, uh, hold on here. I think what Deputy Troy is trying to get at is that the part of the brain that controls basic primal instinct, called the id, told Troy to grab Sharon here, take her over to the examination table and give her the time, if you catch my drift, that his upper thought processes took over and he snapped back into reality. Now, this chemical turns people into animals and prevents them from rational thought. I've got to find a way to notify the Bureau. Hey, somebody want to show me where the guns are? Sharon, do you know where the armory is? Well, yes, the armory is located in the south wing. Show us, show me, show us, now. Let's sure. Go. Wait, wait, I've got another idea. The evidence room is in there. Get your flashlights ready. There it is. How do we get in? Stand back. Holy shit. Look, lady, we don't need any ditch weed or meth or whatever these fuckers fiddle through here. We need guns. Oh, 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 oh hold up. You guys gotta check this out. Yeah, baby. Not bad. Oh, that's mine, baby. Sweet. Dude, what are you doing?
Listen, buddy. If I open this door, then we're all dead. Now, we can die fast, or we can die slow. Go ahead and shoot me. Dude, this is totally the wrong time for a fix. I'm a diabetic. If I don't take this, we're gonna have a lot bigger fucking problems. Oh, sorry man. Didn't know. I have to go now. Where the hell are you going? I have to notify the authorities of what I've learned here. You all will stay here. Like hell we are. We need to get the fuck out of here. In fact, we need to get out of this whole fucking county. I wouldn't go anywhere with this motherfucker. Not after what he... Stephanie. We can all stay here. They'll be here to rescue us soon. Well, I'm going too. I have to go. You all stay here. Deputy, look out for the women. Fuck that, we don't need a babysitter. Come on, man. Let's do this. Come on, I know another way. Gentlemen, it's time. Looks like this is the jumping off point. Wait. What the fuck? Well, are you coming or what? They'll be here soon. I just know they will. We'll be okay. Gentlemen, hold on to your butts. You might want to cover your faces.
Not so fast, Buster. Go get your own porcelain Siamese cat. Hey, where the fuck are we going? Troy, do you know where we can find the broadcast tower? Exactly what kind of tower? A radio broadcast tower, a television tower, a cell phone tower. Hey, yeah, there's one about two miles south of here. If I can find a big enough antenna, I can deliver a message to the National Emergency Response Network. Top of the morning to you, ladies. Y'all sleep well? I'm gonna show you, darling, something I only show my most closest of confidants. Not far now, just up around the band. No pantheism is the essence of spiritualism for many eons, till your kind saw fit to change the balance by ensnaring the male and for your domestic enslavement. Women know the power you wield over the more brutish other sexes. You certainly know how to misuse your charms to ensure the devolution of mankind to his most base articulation. <laughs> Just imagine what a fantastic world we'd be living in right now if not for 5,000 years of stagnation brought on by you.
I have died and I've arrived in paradise. Are we there yet? Man, I was sure it was right around in here somewhere. There. Oh yeah, that's Shelly Morton's place. She used to be my babysitter. Pull off here. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? If you don't mind, grab the radio out of the dash. Thanks. We're gonna be stuck out here. Just do it. Shut your mouth. Come on, let's go. 